Hi everyone, we are live. So, I am um, sorry a bit late. Um, have to do a bit of running around. Um, but hoping you can join me. Hi Lynette, I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit more so we've got the whole screen. There we go. Hi Julie. Okie doke. So, just see that people are starting to arrive and I wanted to just go through what I'm going to do. Hi, hi, <laughs> no worries Pat, hope you had a nice time. Um, hi Colleen, so you can see this. Hey Veronica, this is one of the pictures from that fabric. Still nippy? Yeah, it's bleeding cold here, that's for sure. <laughs> so, um, it's very, very cold. I'm just going to try and get in a little bit more. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is just show you how you can recreate this in, like, painting. Um, I'm going to chuck my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So it just all depends too on how big you want these to be. So we're going to do some fabric painting. I have just a normal, well, it's actually a, a marble fabric. That's why it looks marbly in, in the picture. And I have a little, a uh, little bit of fabric from earlier. And I have a container that I'm going to use the friction, whoopsie days, friction pen and just give myself a rough circle, very rough. Oh, I know why it won't work because I've got that underneath. So that is my bag batting. Uh, so this is uh, just a marble fabric. You can use any fabric. It can be white, it can be calico, anything you like really. These paints do tend to just sit on top of the fabric. It's all good. Now you can overlap these, which is nice to overlap. So let's just draw a few random circles. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Seems to be showing it from a different angle this time for some reason. Anyway, you'll, you'll get the gist of it. So I need five because odd numbers, you know what I'm like. So then you can see on the inside they've got other circles. So just roughly, I mean you can measure it in if you want to, but just give yourself a rough circle on the inside and start with these first. Okay. Because you've got the outside bit, you can sort of do a bit of a have a go at you know making us no one could draw a perfect circle first time around but you now just do the best you can you can't see much of it okay so if I need to move it up a bit for you is that a bit better So again, just drawing some circles, inside circles. And no worries, Kathy, any time. So if you've got any questions at any given time, please feel free to ask. 
Um, I'm sort of doing the same sort of thing in each one of these, if you're wondering what I'm doing. So they sort of look like a target, almost. You know, they're like a bullseye. If you want to, you can trace over something and, um, you know, like a drawing and uh, using a light box, whatever you like. You know, it's all up to you what you want it to look like. Um, and, uh, yeah, it gives you an idea of what's going on. There we go. So I've got a few, five bullseyes. That's basically what I've got. Now, looking at these, and just I'm just looking at this one here, and I'm looking at here. I'm going to just draw, just penciling in, basically, these little petals. They don't quite touch. Um, if they do touch in your drawing, it doesn't matter. It's all, all relevant to what you're doing at the time. But those lines will give you an idea of how wide you can make it. So that line there is my indicator. Okay. And then the one on the outside, again, now I might actually just do them small to start with. Just like that. Fabric's sort of moving a bit. Keeping them, you know, they don't have to be exact as long as, you know, it's hand painted. It's not meant to be perfect. You know, you're meant to enjoy the process, not fight it the whole way. Yeah, so if some are bigger than others, it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. Alright, so just do those. That gives you an indication of where you're going. And the next step is going to be doing that echoing thing. Okay. And I'm just going to go in like that. So what I've done is I've try, uh, like basically copied <laughs> that bit of fabric the design of that bit of fabric. So you're doing an arch over the top of each one of these until you get back to the start. That's the idea of it. Okay. All right. Then this one here, I'm going to do a smaller circle in the center there. So a bit of bullseye and a bullseye. Hi Yvonne. And we're going to do this one so we're going to just little circles, just gap them out. We won't try and paint circles, we're going to cheat. So the fabric paint I'm going to use today is a Lumiere paint. It's really easy to use. Um, and uh, and very, uh, use, very user friendly. Okay, so that one can go there. And then we're going to do this one. Goes. These are long and skinny. Just like that. Space them out a little. And then we're going to echo that as well. The idea would be to keep the gaps reasonably similar to each other. But again, like I say, if you don't, it's no big deal. Okay, and then we've got that one. Hi, Suzanne. I'm going to move this up a bit for you. And just grabbing another bit of fabric. Part of it. Okay. So let's have a go at this one, okay? So you can see it's got a double bullseye. So there's your double there, which is that bit there. Then it's got this big bit here, which is fine. We've got that set out nice. Then what they've got is these circles, but they've also got this wavy thing going on. So they've gone down and up, down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Oops, 
today is you. I've got a bit bit skewy there, so let's just make another one in here. Mark it behind and just touch that little bit there. Get rid of that. Come on. Love a friction pen. Um, be careful when using a friction pen. It's alright to use with your painting. Um, but be careful with other fabrics. Oh, I can see that comment there, Gidget. <laughs> oh dear. It did go fast. Alright. Okay. So that's that one. And then we're going to put these in between. And that creates that look. Then we have... Well, this one here, I've only got a part of it here, but I can tell what's happening. So they've got the the double. So you've got the double center. So I'm just going to even that off a bit. Double center. Okay. Then what they've done is if we take out that, this one here, just with our iron, just quickly get rid of that. It's just going to throw her head out. There we go. That's our eraser. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I'd say they've gone. Okay, so let's go up here. I'm just going to give it one of those. Two. Then we're going to echo that to the point and we'll touch the top just like that. Hubby said, what are you doing, lol? I'm at the craft show. He said, oh, he just shook his head. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, then we're going to echo that up to a point. Echo that. That. Now, you got these little flowers in there. I'm probably going to leave them out. It's just not going to be enough room for that size flower. So then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm sort of going to mimic... Um, if you can see it here. There it is there. Okay. So it doesn't have... It has a larger centre circle. Hi, Michelle. So it doesn't have, actually I'll take that one out as well. Let's take that out with my eraser. Yeah, I've got a new delivery of irons and the ironing mats that, that they sit on and also the, um, the, the, um, the guards, the iron guards, ironing guards. All right, so that one there, and then we want a thinner edge there. And you've got this thing in here. And then here we've got these sort of bunny looking things. So we're going to go like that. And I'm just, I'm not even measuring in between them. I'm just sort of guessing. That's the beauty of these sort of things. You don't have to be perfect. I love it. I hate trying to be perfect. Yeah, I'll probably move that one over a little bit. Make it over here. And then these are really big fat ones here. They go like, like that. Just like that. And you've got your design almost on okay 
So that's that's our design. That's what we're doing. Um, you can make that circle a little bit bigger if you wanted to. I'm happy with it. All right. So that is going to be our design. So I hope you can see all that. Now, I'm going to pop this bag batting underneath. Um, it becomes a really good, it stops the fabric from moving for a start, plus it helps to absorb any excess. Um, I'll just turn my iron off. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. I've got two little paintbrushes there. Might not be enough, but we'll work on it. Give me a second. Get my colours out. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, so colour. And that one. I'm also going to use some. Um, fabric, just a fabric creati creations paint as well as, is that a Sharpie you're using? Uh, no, Suzanne, it's actually a friction pen. Okay, so we line off. I'm going to get the yellow and that's blood orange and then the purple. So I have gems as well that I use, which are luminescent, um, so I'm going to use those as well, and a bit of an aqua, green, and then what else? Hmm. Um, what else I got there? Got yellow, what on earth? yeah, I do want pink. Get that hot pink one actually, I'll take that one back. Um, okay, so we're using some Lumiere, some Fabric Creations, and some Amethyst, uh, some, sorry, some gems. Um, is that friction pen that way when you no longer need the line? What colour do you have? Where's the line? What colour do you have? What do you mean? It goes away when you iron it. It irons off. Is what it does. Um, all right, so I'm going to use the lid of these because I'm being lazy. So I tend to give them a shake. Not always advisable. <laughs> um, sometimes it makes the lids hard to get off. Um, and then you're also leaving your paints open without a lid. You like it. <laughs> There's your hot pink. See, that one now is hard to get off. Ah, yeah, I've got it. Okay, so green. I'll just move it up a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. This one here. I need to give it a good shake. Stand it up by its head, I think. Stay. So you can see. Can I please have a pen? Julie, I don't sell them, honey. You can get them at, um, like, Officeworks, um, those sort of places. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't stock them. Oh, that one won't open. I'll leave that alone then. Um, oh. <laughs> Guys, Officeworks, they have them. So friction pens, I don't stock them at all. Um, they're an office works thing. All right, so Okay, so I have this already. I have my paper towel You always got to have your paper towel. I've got my two crappy brushes. I don't know how much I love using crappy brushes um, That one's still got a bit of paint in it from last time. Yep, it does. Give it a bit of a hint. <laughs> oh, Suzanne, I can go and get you one. I'm happy to buy, get you one. If you guys want me to get one when I'm out and about, I've got to go out today. So if you'd like, I can get you some. They're not very expensive. I'll just grab, I'll just grab a handful uh, of the black. They don't come in white. They, they do just have the sort of one colour. But yeah, if you like, I can get you some. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> white pearl paint. Okay, yep. Um... I'm just going to take that off there and that goes there. Now, this is fabric paint. If you get it on your clothes, it will not come off. 
just a heads up, okay? Just remember, um, I need a pen and paper again. Hang on, there it is. So, need a fidget. Um, white. Pearl. Now, pearl. Now, if you want, I can give you the gems. It has a pearl white or the Lumiere. It's up to you. You let me know which one you want. The Lumiere is probably a little bit more opaque, um, but the gems you get more bang for your buck. All right, so just looking back on these, what these colours and that were, I'm just using this as a bit of a guide. Doesn't have to be the same. Um, you can, you could be, so you could have painted the whole thing yellow and then fill in, but um, just to be difficult, I'm going to not do that. Um, I'm going to um, literally just paint in the areas that I need painted. Um, this one here is not a pearlescent, okay, and it's not as opaque as say the others are the the lumiere they're, they're very opaque so it will need a second coat just saying okay love i'll just write both all right so just using the dipping that in like i say it's just a little crappy paint but it's a, a paintbrush but um it's got a thinner point so it works for what I'm doing. If I go out of the lines, I'm just going to make the circle bigger. Just giving you another heads up there. So, you know those cat panels and that we've been playing with and, you know, the owl panels and all that sort of jazz. Um, you can, you can, if you wanted to, do a painting of it and then use the fabric the corresponding fabrics around the painting um that you've done on your fabric which works a treat because that can look really really cool so if you can leave a little gap between each color that's worked better um, just for when you come back with a permanent marker. Probably only get one of these done, so I thought I'll pick the most detailed one and um, show you how it works. And I'll show you how the dots work, those little, doing these dots here because they would do your head in if you had to sit down and paint them individually. So these are all heat set fab uh, fabric paints. So as soon as you iron them, I mean, even if you tried to wash them out now, it, it probably would not come out, but they are heat set. So you do need to iron just to reduce any um, what they call it, um, fading or, you know, any kind of chipping. Okay. When you can cut these out and applicate them on something if you wanted to. Anything you like. Hi Debbie, how you going? So I tend to put a little blob on 
the, the fabric and then I'll spread from that little blob if that makes sense. Sorry. Keep knocking that, my apologies. So I will let that dry and move on to the next thing. Just set that over there. That paint isn't Lumiere. No, no, it's not. This one's not. Um, I do have others. I'm using both different types of paint. That one is called Fabric Creations. It is a solid color. It's not a luminescent, um, but it's definitely designed for fabric. So the next one around looks like more of a goldy colour, but I couldn't get my gold to open up on me, so I'm going to go and see if I can get this bronzy one open. Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, beauty. So we're going to do this one in the next section. And this is your Lumiere. So I'm just using the tip of that paintbrush and because I've sat it in my jar for so long it's got like a little bit of a curve on it and it works. <laughs> I didn't think it would but it will, it does. works for me. So this colour is, just FYI, it's called Burnt Orange. So you'll see that with the Lumiere I won't need to give it a second coat, but with the yellow I will. Having problems with my internet on computer. Oh really? That's a bugger? Is that a poop? That's no good been around it's, it's I think with all the the winds and storms and stuff we've had across the country it's really made it um, quite hard for the the logistics to keep up I suppose Did you see that when I showed you I shared with Margaret doing that um, border quilt with the pansies wasn't that gorgeous Makes me want to do it. <laughs> and because this paint is so thick, these, these paints don't drip as such. Um, if you had thin runny paint, like, like a, um, what do you call it, um, an ink, would definitely drip. There we go, I'll just wash that out, pop the lid back on. Pansy one was stunning, I want to do it. Yeah, I know, so do I. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got now, I'm going to do it with the orange, so I'm just going to, it's going to go quicker than I thought it is, that's good. I thought I would only get one done today, but we'll see how we go. So this is your orange, and I'm going to go in 
there. Like a, a little blob and then just spread it out. And of course, the lighter the colour, the more, or well, the less opaque it's going to be too. So it's going to be a bit more transparent too. This one's quite claggy. But it's got a good colour coverage. I like it. And this is, again, one of the fabric... Um, paint creation, fabric creations, or whatever they call themselves. Um, so these are only like six dollars a bottle. That's why I like them because they're cheap <laughs> um, and not too nasty. Um, okay. I'm going to see if I can get this camera a little bit closer for you, so you can see a bit more of what I'm doing. And you can see I'm leaving a little gap in between. Not that they'll run together or anything, it's just that when I come to marking around them, sorry, there you go. Yeah, living till 300. Yeah, I don't want to live that long. <laughs> so I'm just, just saying, all right? <laughs> 300 is just way too old to be living that long. Um, all right. It looks a little bit messy at the moment, but we're getting there. I'm alive. I'll get there. dry. No, I reckon that it's like, they keep trying to mail, I was thinking that, it's funny you say that because I was thinking that before, I was sitting out there and thinking, God, they keep wanting to try and make us live, you know, forever and ever. And, and it, you notice it's young people trying to do that for us? <laughs> I mean, that's because they're young. That, what they're missing is that, yeah, you know, we want to live to get live forever. Mm, maybe not. If we were 30, we'd probably want to live for forever at about 30, 35, maybe 40. But you don't want to be 110 and feel 110. You want to feel like you're 30. <laughs> And you want to be physically well enough to be 30. You know, you don't want to be living 100, 110 and suffering every bleeding day. I do that's a joke. <laughs> so how I got that brush to have that tip was I neglected it and I left it sitting in a jar for about two weeks in water. Um, on its tip and it literally just bent that way so it's got this proverbial bend in it and I sort of went eh, can I wear can I use that today eh, probably I'll give it a burl
next. It's got a white in there, but I'm just going to leave that blank and leave the colour that it's on behind it. And the next one I'm going to do, uh, I might do, I might do, see that they've got the purple there? Do that. So, and then the inside, it's got a green, it is a green or I could use the aqua. I'm thinking the aqua might be here. So this is a gem paint again it's a lumiere not lumiere it's not a lumiere it's a luminescent i should say um so it's quite opaque um and uh yeah the, the bottles are much larger it goes a longer way i've had some of these for years and years i just tend to last and last <laughs> Michelle said it's so therapeutic watching me paint, really? So I was just sitting there thinking, oh, this is very therapeutic, me doing this. I'm enjoying this. Great mind, Michelle. So did anyone want me? I've got to go into town anyway. I can I can quite easily zip into Office Works and then um, grab you a um, friction pen if you would like me to. I'm happy to do that. So um, just say yes, please, or whatever, and I'm happy to do that for you. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me none. Um, I do anything for you girls, just about. Well, just about. I wouldn't jump off a cliff. I might. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So if you guys would like that, um, I'm happy to do it. And I'm pretty sure they've got like blue and brown and green and stuff like that. But I've just got the black one. It just seems to work for me. Seems to be most popular. There we go. So that's my purple. And I'll just put that back on there. Give that a rinse. Sorry about that, just knock the camera. And then we need to do the center. Yeah, I'll stick with the green. I did like the aqua. Ooh, that's nice. So big blob. And just spread it out. There we go. We're painted. Um, do I need? Oh, what I'll do is I'll just take that over there, and I might just pop it in water. So over here we have this one here, right? And you can see like it's purple with these green dots. So I'm going to probably do the aqua. Just and I'm gonna lose my dots. I'm gonna lose my dots, but that's all right. I can I can guesstimate. And
Yes, Julie is here with us. Yes, Julie Donahue. She's um back issues for quite some time now. Still struggling with it. Going to Jules, simple love. Horrible. Haven't been to visit for a while and just come up to visit. So I'll just give that a few moments to dry. And make the circle a bit more circular. So I'm using the, the side, like the brush on the side, it's a flat brush and I'm sort of pressing down and just using it on its side, like, but I'm straight up and down and that sort of helps to give that sharper edge to it. Um, Julie just let Paul know that if I'm not here just to leave it um, the stuff outside there or in the front door here in the studio oh, done <laughs> all right so pop that away now they've got green dots so I think I might go green I don't know I can pop that one away so this one here is the zircon 125 mil and they are 925 125 and they're 925 these ones are like 70 oh 60 66 mil and they're 995 so that's the difference um, these are a little bit more are like luminescent than the others but look you know you still get a good look out of them i like them anyway so just no i'm just waiting for that it's almost dry okay so um i'll just get this paintbrush back out it seems like my thing on my screen has frozen so I'm going to refresh my screen so to do these dots I think I've shown you this before but I'm going to show you again because it's always handy this one here okay we're going to do them around here just like that so get your your um, paintbrush the empathy paintbrush and dip it in and just Coming straight up and down and reload each every time. If you don't, the dots get smaller as you go along. There you go. How easy is it to paint dots? How clever are you? <laughs> There you go. How cool is that? Easy peasy. Alright, now pop that back on there. I'm just going to go and get my black marker. I had one here, but it's a little bit rough. So get a brand new one. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to turn this water out of the way, paint out of the way, brush up there. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, I'll just draw myself. Get the fine tip. It's not fine, fine. You don't want those really tiny things. And starting from the inside, the paint's not quite dry. Try to keep your, your pen out of your paint if you can. 
soon as you go into the paint, it'll sort of bugger up your pen. And then just go around. Now you could do thick lines or thin lines, whatever you like. Actually thinking I might colour that in black. Yeah. Look at that. Let's go look there. Okay. Sorry, I've moved it off the screen then, I got a bit carried away. If you have to draw on the paint, please wait until it's completely dry before you draw on the paint, otherwise it will absolutely ruin your texture and you'll never get that texture back to the same way it was. Ever. <laughs> Done that a few times. Ask me how I know. Oops, I nearly touched the dot. Oh, I did touch a dot. Hang on. Ooh, that was scary. Must keep fingers out of the paint. Yes, you have done it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're not wrong. You know, when you get impatient and you want it done now or yesterday, that's 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 what happens. And I go, ah, bugger it, you know. Today, like that. And that one.
Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Now, if I go around the edge, right, what's going to happen is it's going to bleed. So I'll show you. If I go around here, um, and you can see why you don't paint, you can see how it becomes like scratchy now because I drew on paint. I have to get the other pen. Perfectly good leaving pen, and now I boogered it. Look at it. It just doesn't want to play. And that pink there is really wet. I do not want to touch it. I'm going to go up to it, but not around. So I'm going to swap that for another pen, which I've got over here. I like doing a, a thicker line on the outside. Um, it gives it a, a real definition. So if you wanted to, you could draw a double line and then fill it in. You know, like, like I'm sort of leaving a little gap and then just come back and fill it in. Just um, watch out for bleeding. there and like I said I can't go in there yeah looks cool doesn't it so if you find that it's bleeding up like if, if it bleeds around there or anything just paint up to it. So get another colour and just paint up to it or put another thing next to it. Or, or you, um, when you do your outside line, use paint and not, not an actual thing. So, um, so if I get, say, is that black? That's black. So if I get this booger, that's onyx, which is black. And this one ice cream <laughs> ice cream ice cream all right so get your black paint and paint it no reason why not and you'll get a smoother line um, because it won't bleed or fuzz like the the ink does on this sort of fabric if you're using a nasty cheap uh, calico it won't bleed at all because there's so much sizing on it. You want that sizing there. But on any other kind of cotton, like a good quality, like this, um, there's not as much sizing and it will bleed. So get your black paint and paint around. Just like that. It'll make it thicker. Um, but that's okay. Pretty cool, hey? You can see how easy it is to recreate something that you've seen elsewhere and paint it yourself. Um, and all it was was a few circles. And when you stitch around it, it's going to look 
even tidier again you know what I mean like you're going to stitch right on that edge and it'll clean it right up I might be able to get in there <laughs> oh dear I'll be careful um, my little hook brush I've created works for me Alrighty, so there you go. So I've got a little fluff there. Um, pretty nervous. There we go. Got it. So that, and see Onyx, that's the gem. So I mean, look, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> Stella, yeah. So that's the gems. Um, lustrous fabric paint, that's what they call it. So that is it in a nutshell. You can make your own fabric by just using someone else's idea. Um, it goes well. You can make up panels and then use this in the borders. Why not? You can paint it onto black fabric and just leave the areas you want black, leave them, leave them empty. Yeah? So, you know, it's sort of entirely up to yourself as how you want it to look. Um, but uh, personally, I reckon that looks pretty damn cool. I like it. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah? pretty cool hey I like so in the other thing too is all those those lines they'll all disappear like they'll just zip zip gone um, yeah it's a good idea isn't it Stella you, you can quite easily create your own and uh, you you know you've got the block stitch it out and use this fabric as the border you could do your next block with little mushrooms or or whatever you like whatever you like but it's just another idea on how to use a fabric and create your own your own design out of that fabric. Yeah. Okay, ladies. Well, thank you for joining me again. I will see you a bit later on this Arvo because I, I thought I had that appointment earlier, but no, it's at two o'clock. So I do need to zip off. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's nice and relaxing to sit there um, and watch someone paint, especially if you are short some fabric. You can make something to go with exactly Stella yeah exactly so what if you say what if you had the panel right you know of the the owl or the cat or whatever you've got the panel but you don't have you know as enough corresponding fabric so make it make it make a long skinny border you know like a really long skinny border make it go that way and that it goes around the whole quilt i mean you can sit there and paint a whole big outer border and um it's all your design you're like you can make it whatever you like cool i think that's cool good thinking 99 up there for thinking down there for dancing <laughs> all right ladies thank you again i will see you a bit later on we have a uh live going on tonight uh I think I'm doing a seven o'clock here, so I've been a good lesson. Thank you. Love the Sharpies. They are good. Does anyone need me to get the friction? I am going in town and I will get them for you. Um, no idea what they cost because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to write names down now. If you want them now, just let me know. Friction. Black. It was Pat, I think, what was one. Hang on. Do, do, do. Yes, for Suzanne. Yep. Anyone else? Okay, yes, please, you know what you're buying. Yeah, too. Yep, sure, Julie. Um, Julie Sleeman, yep. Sleeman and Veronica by two, yep. Veronica, not Verinica, by two. Yep, no worries. Easy done. Um, if uh, you decide that you do want them and you make your mind up in the next half an hour to an hour, just send me a quick PM and I'll get them for you while I'm in town because I'll still be in town then. All right, we will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for joining me again. Much appreciate your time and uh, support. Thank you, ladies.
One for Julie. <laughs> okay, Julie. Um, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks, ladies. Bye.